Welcome. Another one incoming as Oshibanja a voice to Numbu at Aisha Buhari's dinner. The Vice President Yami Oshibanja avoided a face-to-face -face meeting with Ashiwa Jubola Ahmed Tunumbu on Saturday night. As he was conspicuously absent at the Iftar dinner called by the First Lady Aisha Buhari. Tunumbu, Dave Umaya, Chris Ingige, all APC presidential aspirants attended the dinner snubbed by PDP's Atiku Abubakar, Peter Obi and Bukola Saraki. Baruchi Governor Bala Mohamed, a PDP presidential aspirant, attended, breaking the PDP boycott. Although Oshibanjo was represented by the former Edo Governor, Professor Osareme Osubo, a fellow lawyer, the dinner would have been the first meeting between Oshibanjo and Tunumbu since Oshibanjo joins the presidential race on April 11th. Oshibanjo was Justice Commissioner and Attorney General for eight years, when Tinubu was Governor of Lagos State between 1999 and 2007. Oshibanjo was in Ibadan, Oyo State, on the Friday eve of the dinner, where he met the Olubadan, Obalekon Balogun, and APC delegates to the convention. It wasn't clear why he didn't jet back to Abuja to attend the dinner, that the First Lady used to plead for running mate slots for women. But his rep, Osumbo, read his message urging all aspirants to play politics without bitterness. Oshibanjo said the event offered Nigerians from different faiths and background the opportunity to reunite with one another to foster unity. He said it's an opportunity for aspirants from various political parties to meet one another and the lesson we should learn from Ye is to practice politics without bitterness as we move closer to the election. We should try to imbibe the spirit of oneness because at the end of the day, only one person is going to emerge winner of the presidential election next year. So it is not going to be a do or die affair. We should learn to practice politics without bitterness, he stated. Opinions are still divided whether Oshibanjo ought to have joined the presidential race when Tinubu is also in the running. Well, we all know that Oshibanjo declared for presidency on april 11th it was on monday and he declared said he was going to run for presidency and since then him and tunubu haven't been on the best of terms a lot of tunubu loyalists have accused oshibanjo of being a judas and saying that he shouldn't have been running side by side with tunubu saying that tunubu helped him at some point so why is he now biting the fingers that fed him and this has been what has been going on between this scam because um, Tunumbu is from APC and also Oshibanjo is from APC and we know that Oshibanjo had to move his PVC from Lagos to Ogun State and even when Joy Ibokwe came out he said that it was a betrayal on the part of Oshibanjo to run for president alongside with Tunumbu and Joey Bekwe also, also mentioned that they are not both at war, that is the media that is making things worse, that they are both okay, saying that it was even Tunumbu that advised Oshibanjo to take his PVC to Ogun State. But a lot of sources have said that there is trouble in the camp of APC and that Tunumbu is not happy with Oshibanjo because Oshibanjo decided to run for presidency. And Tunumbu have said that it is his lifelong ambition to become president of Nigeria. And now Oshibanjo wants to twout his ambition because it is his ambition. And now that Oshibanjo is running, he sees Oshibanjo as a challenge because Tunumbu have been um, jumping some stumbling blocks lately. He has been challenged because the Northerners, the Northern Youth, the Arara Youth, and some organizations of the North, they have said that they are not going to vote for Tunumbu to become president. And they also blamed him, saying that he was the one that persuaded them to vote for Buhari. And we can all see what is happening with Buhari, the insecurity growing in Nigeria and everything going on. It is not something that everyone is happy about. So because of that, they are pissed with 
Tinumbu because Tinumbu was the one that told them to vote for Buhari, that put in words for Buhari. We know that Tinumbu was Buhari's greatest supporter during 2015, during the election time. And now they are saying they're not going to vote for Tinumbu because he was the one that made them to make a wrong choice. And they also say that they are tired of having a weak and tired president. They want a an agile somebody that is agile they're, they're tired of having a, a president that is sick of having a president that is weak and old and well we all know that oshi banjo came to come and stand in tunumbu's way and now tunumbu is angry because he sees oshi banjo as a challenge he sees oshi banjo as someone that people would prefer to vote for instead of him and a lot of people have been talking a lot of sources have been have been speaking and People are saying that um, Tunumbu's loyalists are not even allowing Oshibanjo to breed. We know that they termed him a Judas, they termed him a betrayer. They have given Oshibanjo all sorts of names because of this growing, um, this growing um, fight between them. Because it's, it's going to be something that they don't see high to high again. And that is because of Tunumbu sees Oshibanjo as a threat. According to people that are talking, according to words on the street, this was Oli Tinumbu. Oli Tinumbu was meant to run for, for president in APC. He was the only one that was meant to win that presidential ticket. And at the end of the day, Oshiban John now made his intention to run. And it has in a way affected Tinumbu's running also. Well, we know that both of them are not on good terms. No matter what people say, no matter what people come out to say that they are on good terms, they're not fighting. We see Joy Bokwe saying that, oh, they're not fighting. It's the loyalist. It's the media that is painting it like that. But in reality, we see that they're not in accord and they're not, they're not, they're not rapping again because immediately... Shibanjo decided to declare his interest to run for presidency. A lot of things started happening. We can see that the Tunumbu is not clearly happy with the decision. He does not like the decision that he decided to take, that Oshibanjo decided to take because Tunumbu only wanted to win the presidential ticket himself. He even said it himself that it is lifelong ambition. This is something that he was looking forward to. And now he definitely sees Oshibanjo as a challenge. And this um dinner, I'm not surprised that Oshibanjo is is not is there. I'm not surprised that Oshibanjo is not there rather, because at the end of the day, I don't think it would be it would be comfortable to be in the same room with Tunumbu as well. And we don't know what is going on in the APC camp, but this was something that the primate, primate Ayodele, it was something he prophesied. And most people say most of his prophecies always come to pass. This was something he prophesied. This was something he foresaw. And he said that there would be division in APC. He mentioned that the cabals would destroy and a lot of things are going to happen. But at the end of the day, they will have to come together, stand as one because things will happen. A lot of things are going to go on. So it is left for them to solve everything because he prophesied, he, he said these things, he foresaw them. And now we can see what is happening within APC. Oshibanjo and Tunumbu are definitely not on good terms from people that have been speaking, from people that have been talking. And we all know that Joy Bokoe is now like um, Tunumbu's spokesperson. He comes out to talk, any small thing about Tunumbu is out there. And because Tunumbu is already challenged about everything, we all see the North coming out to say they're not going to vote for them. We all see the youth saying they're not going to vote for him because of the NSAS issue, because of the toll gate and all. We all see other people saying they're not going to vote for him because he, he gave M. Solomon so much power. He put M. Solomon on a pedestal. And at the end of the day, M. Solomon is misusing that power, is behaving unruly and um, making behaviors that do not even make sense. So 
At the end of the day, there are so many challenges against him. And now, Oshibanja also declared to run. So at the end of the day, um, a lot of people said it has angered Tunumbu so much because he did not expect to, to be running against Oshibanjo. He wanted to freely win that presidential ticket without anybody dragging him down or not so. Well, do not forget to hit the like button and subscribe and flood my comment section and tell me what you feel about the dispute between Oshibanjo and Tunumbu. Well, do not forget to hit the like button, subscribe and also turn on your notification to get more news updates from us. Thank you.